Hello and welcome to the Microphotonics Imaging Laboratory here in Allentown, Pennsylvania. We're happy to have you with us today. Each month we're going to be going through some new tips and tricks videos to help you get the most out of your Skyscan Micro CT instrument. Let's go ahead and jump into this month's tip. Hello and welcome to this month's installment of the Microphotonics Tip of the Month series. Today we're going to be talking about how to upload files or folders to the microphotonics team through shared folders within the meyerbridge.com platform you may at times be required or asked to submit these types of files in order for us to better help you with your applications or support questions so after reaching out to microphotonics if uh, someone who you're in contact with says that they would like you to submit some files to further assist them in uh, helping you to determine what can be done um, you will receive an email like the one shown here inviting you to join a shared folder through the myairbridge.com platform. So to begin, go ahead and click on the link to the folder and that will open a browser window which will show you the empty folder and you can always verify that you're in the right place by looking here and making sure that the folder name matches the one in the email that you received. Here's the name of the folder here. So at this point, we are ready to go ahead and add some files or folders to this shared folder to, to uh, share with Microphotonics. So I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to the location of the file I want to upload. In this case, it's a reconstructed folder from some imaging I did of a sample. Now you see right now, we just have the standard, you know, open reconstructed file while you could upload this we do prefer that you send us a compressed file format such as zip and the reason for this is both to make the upload and download transfer process more efficient by keeping the file size smaller and also to make sure that we receive the um, file you're sending us or the folder intact as it is on your system without any chance of anything getting lost during the upload or download process so uh, if you're using any Windows computer, you have the option to compress the file by first right-clicking on the file name and selecting the Send To Compressed Zipped Folder option. And that will begin the compression process. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. You also, if you were using a PC that was supplied by Microphotonics, likely have the 7-Zip program installed. This is a freeware program. Um, that we often use and you can do the same process by click, right clicking again navigating from 7-zip and add to bacon.zip and what you'll see is that, that that will bring up a status window allowing you to watch the conversion to the zip file as well so either way you create the zipped file that's uh, not going to make a difference to us whatever's more convenient to you once the compression of the folder is complete we will be able to begin moving this to our shared airbridge folder all right so we see it's complete 1.6 gigabytes and we are ready to begin so now that we have our compressed folder and we want to upload that to our shared folder we have two options one if we're just doing one folder this is probably usually the most convenient because you already have it open from compressing it you can grab the file drag it onto your browser window and you see you have different options and the important option here um, when you drag it over this my airbridge folder is we want to upload to the currently open folder and so we click we drop it there we see that it brings up the status window here and so we could go ahead and begin the upload process i'm going to go ahead and cancel at this point and show you the other option and this is if you want to have multiple files you're submitting we're going to go ahead to navigate and we're going to select file and not folder and that's key so folder would be if you want to submit an uncompressed folder to microphotonics um, again, we don't really recommend that. So file, since we've already compressed the folder into a compressed zip file, we're going to just select file and we can navigate to where we stored that location and select multiple files. If we have multiple folders, we want to submit. Once again, we click OK or open and we see that we have this file menu. And so this is going to allow us to see the list of files that will be uploaded to the shared folder. There is a 70 gigabyte limit. So if we're dealing with large data sets, make sure you talk to Microphotonics staff uh, about any limitations you may foresee in terms of the 70 gigabyte upload limit. Um, go ahead and click send when you're ready to upload all of your files to the folder. 
and you'll see that you'll get a status window showing you your current transfer amount and your estimated time remaining. So we'll go ahead and wait for this to complete. All right, now that the upload is complete, we can click close here and we see that the folder is now safely stored in our shared location. If we select the folder, we could download it, which we don't need to do because we just submitted it. Uh, we could rename it if we don't like the name um, and you could delete it if you accidentally upload the wrong file. Basically at this point, all that's left is to get in touch with your contact at Microphotonics, let them know that the upload is complete of all of your files or folders and they will be able to assist you further with your request. Thank you for tuning in to this month's installment of the Tip of the Month, and we hope you'll stay tuned for next month. Hello. Thank you for watching this installment of our Video Tip of the Month. At Microphotonics, we strongly believe that the research you do changes the world, and we're happy to support you in your efforts through these videos, through our advanced training courses, and our annual workshops. Through these efforts, we strive to make sure that you are getting the most from your Bruker Micro CT machine. If you have any questions on this video or any other questions, feel free to give us a call or send us an email. Thank you again and have a good day.